hello friends satyendra here and in this video let's create a new pen table as per your requirement and apply it to your print in creo parametric so this video will tell you everything about the pen table now here we have two different things the first thing is how to create a pen table and the second thing is how to apply that pen table to our print so first i will show you how to create a new pen table and then i will show you how to apply that pen table to your print so let's get started so this is the drawing where i will apply my new pen table to take a print so let's create a new pen table now and for that i will go to my pen table folder so this is my pen table folder and here i have one pen table created which is print.pnt so if i go inside it opens like this now let's understand this table first so this table starts from here pen 1 and this ends here these all are added later on to explain this table so as you see this table it starts with pen 1 and it ends with pen 8 so there are eight different pens in pen table in creo parametric now each pen is related to different entities available in the drawing so this is pen 1 pen 2 now these pens are clearly explained here so pen 1 is for geometry all solid lines available in your drawing pen 2 is for letter that is text and dimensions available in your drawing pen 3 is for hidden lines available in your drawing similarly pen 4 is for other lines which comes in red orange pen 5 is for sheet metal dark green lines So when you create a sheet metal part you get two different lines a dark black line and dark green line so pen 5 directly controls the dark green line now pen 6 it controls sketched curve blue in color so whenever you create a sketch outside the feature it will be blue in color and that sketch will be controlled by this pen similarly pen 7 and pen 8 are for other edges so these are the eight pens which controls the line thickness for different entities inside the print in creo parametric now let's understand each pen in details so pen 1 this is for geometry thickness is this much and the unit is in centimeter and the color of this entity is 0.0 0.0, .0 and 0.0, .0. that means it is black and white now you can change this unit you can make it mm or inches if you want this unit in inches you just write in if you want in mm just write mm and this value will be considered as per this unit similarly all this pen thickness are black and white because the color code is 000 you can change this color code as per your requirement and you can get a color print out from this pen table so now you understand this pen table very well so let's create a new pen table and for that i will just copy these items from this table now close this file now to create a new pen table just right click anywhere and go to new text document i will take name as print 2 now this text document you just rename it and make it dot pnt say yes now you have just created print2 dot pnt now the next thing is go inside this and paste it now you also write down this text just like this you write pn pen space 1 space thickness space 0.001 space cm semicolon space color space 0.0 space 0.0 space 0.0 similarly you add all eight pens next thing is you just change this value you make it 0.1 and save it and close it now you copy this path from here and go to your creo parametric so this is your creo parametric now here you go to file print inside this you go to setting and here you have printer 
Now here you just replace this file name with your file name with complete path. So d pen table backslash print to dot pnt. This path I will just copy from here. This is a complete path. Say OK. Now you go to preview and see the preview. See the dark lines. Your pen table is getting applied. Now you come out from the preview. Close this. Now you make some space here. This side. Just like this. And now you open this print table. Open your Creo parametric. Now let's check all the pen thickness one by one. And for that, you go here, you change it to 001. And this time, you change this value, make it 0 0.01. Save it. Come to this, go to File, Print, Setting, Printer, change this to the previous path and say OK. Go to Preview and now you see your dimension line is getting thickened because you have changed the pen to come out from the preview go to this table again make it 001 and this time go to pen 6 and here you make it 0 0.01 save it come to this and go to preview now zoom it and see here now you see your cadex is thicker than this line once again go here and make it 0 0.1 Save it and come here, come out from the preview, once again go to the preview. Now you see, you can see the clear thickness. So here your cadex is the sketched curve and that is controlled by pen 6. So you are controlling the thickness from here. Similarly, once again let us make it 0 0.001 and make this 0 0.1. Save it, come to this come out from the preview, once again go to the preview. Now you see, these lines are dark because this is controlled by pen 1. So similarly you can check it from this table, you make it 0 0.01 for pen 2 and save it, come here, come out from the preview and go inside the preview. Now you see, Pen 2 controls these dimensions lines. Now still it is thinner, so make it 0 0.05. Save it. Come out from the preview. Once again go to the preview. Now you can see the clear difference. See this line is thicker. If you make it 0 01. And if you zoom it, you can see that, that this dimension line is as equal to this hidden line. But the moment you change it from 0, 01 to 5, save, you will see the clear difference. Now this line is thicker than your hidden line. Now let's change pen 3. This you make it 4, save it. Come here, come out from the preview, go once again in the preview. Now you see, this line is slightly thinner than this line. So these all are getting controlled by this. If I make it 2 and save it, and then if I go, see this line is thinner than this line. So these all are getting controlled by this table. Now one more thing I will do here. I will just remove these colors. Now once you remove this color, you will see all the entity having the same color as per your drawing. Save it. Come here. Now you see, 
your center line is still black here. Now if I come out from this preview and once again go to this preview, I can see that your center line is brown. Your sketch is blue. You see? So because you removed that color 000, the black and white, now everything is as visible as you see in your drawing. Now you see, this is blue, this is brown, so it is taking the same color. You see? Now here if you see, your hidden line is gray, your object line is black. So here also you are getting your object line as black as per this thickness and a hidden line as gray as per this thickness. So you can control the colors from this table. You can make your table colorful or you can make your table black and white as you want. So you just saw how to apply these tables to your print. You just need to go to file, print, setting and here you need to write the complete path with your file name. So D, D backslash pen table is my folder path and then backslash print2.pnt is my path. So this path you need to paste completely here and you say OK. And as per your setting, you just go to the preview and you will get your preview. Now let's close this. Now let's apply the previous pen table. Go to print setting and once again printer and here instead of print2 I will take print print.pnt I will copy it and say ok now you go to preview now you see all are black and white your center line is black and white your everything your cadex is black and white and uh, the line thickness is common for all so you are getting the same line thickness everywhere. So let's move to the pen table once again. So you just saw how to create the pen table. So this is the way to create the pen table. You write down pen space 1 space thickness space the line width then space the unit semicolon then space color, then space 0 0.0, then space 0 0.0 and then space 0 0.0. Same thing you repeat 8 times, just change pen 1, pen 2, pen 3 up to pen 8 and your table is ready. So this was the way to create a pen table. So I have my pen table here. Now let's have a small break and meanwhile you can like this video and subscribe my channel. Thank you. So this was the way to create a pen table. Now you can easily create your pen table. But you can assign your pen table by two different ways. One way is the indirect way where you go to print and copy the entire path with your file name there. But this you need to do again and again for each print which is quite irritating. But if you don't want to do the same practice again and again for each drawing then you can set it permanently in your config.pro. Now how to do this? Once again, I'll go to this and these are the settings. You have three settings to do this. First setting is PDF underscore use underscore pen table. Second setting is pen table file. Third setting is use eight plotter pens. So by default, this will be no. If it is no, then only three pen settings will work. One, two, three. Rest of other five will not work. If you make it yes, then all pen setting will work. Now to do this setting in your Creo parametric, go to your Creo parametric. So this is my Creo parametric. Now here go to file, option, configuration editor, find and here look for use underscore 8, use 8 plotter pens, by default it is no, make it yes, add change, close. Next setting is PDF use, PDF underscore use, by default this value will be no, make it yes, add change, close and the last setting is pen table. So here you need to browse your pen table, you need to go to your pen table, the place where you have saved your pen table, inside the pen table select your pen table and say open. 
add change, close and say ok. Now save this setting to your config file. I have already saved so it is not asking. But if you say ok it will definitely ask. Save it to your config file and it will be permanently saved. So whenever you create a print it will directly take all the pen assignment from this file and no need to do the same setting again and again. So this was the complete idea about the pen table, pen table creation. You learnt about how to create the pen table and how to assign the pen table to your print by direct way or indirect way and I hope this entire video will be helpful. Now like this video if the video is helpful and I will see you in my next video. Thank you.